I know a lot of focus recently has been on how energy costs uh, have had a direct impact on inflation. Uh, that said, the sector itself is not immune to the impacts of inflation. We've seen operating and capital costs rise between 10 to 20 percent across the board for companies. And this has primarily been driven by an increase in the cost of uh, raw materials and uh, labor. Uh, that said, uh, you know, the impact of higher costs has been largely offset uh, by higher oil and gas prices and the profitability are currently at all time highs. Uh, another thing I'd like to note here is the fact that you know, oil and gas companies uh, have been cutting costs over the last three years. So that's kind of put them in a good place uh, wherein they're in a better place to kind of you know, fight the inflationary environment that they're currently facing. Uh, one more thing is, you know, there is a distinction between smaller companies and larger companies. You know, larger companies tend to have the financial flexibility to enter into long-term contracts and plan multi-year budgets, which allows them to lock in cost to a certain extent. This mitigates the impact of inflation. Smaller companies tend to have shorter time horizons for their development plans and hence are more exposed to the rise in costs.